stuff. Now, before I let you go, with all of this moving forward, what is your outlook for the oil and gas industry? Now, staying with Nigeria now, we know there are global issues that are also affecting the price of crude and all, but what is your uh, outlook for the uh, sector? Well, I was one of those Nigerians that have doubted the system. I have in the past called for total overhaul of the structure of uh, management within the oil and gas sector. But there is something I have come to observe midway. I found out that when we shout, I, I said it the other time, when we say no, in business world, no doesn't connote refusal. It is it is our own way of telling people to come up higher, to wake up from their slumber. Okay, a noise like a wee bell that wakes you up that something is wrong that needs to be fixed. And uh, I am happy over what has started to happen of recent within the oil and gas sector. There is greater engagement. Nigerians are getting participating. Uh, Nigerians are asking questions. Uh, this did not happen in the past where people sit down and take decision on uh, uh, national issues that affect the life of the common Nigerian. But this time around, everybody is getting involved. People are speaking up, and I am not, I, don't, I do not think that the leaders will hear all this and go back to their comfort zone to begin to sleep and snore. I think each of our cry is a wake up call to them. I have seen what is happening in an NPC. I can tell you, I love what is happening there first. The very fact that we have removed that uh, an NPC from the hands and funding of the government and made it a limited liability company is, 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 is uh, a step in the right direction. It, it has become a profit-oriented organization. The management are waking up. I want to use that word. There are changes we have begun to uh, experience. In fact, we have put them on their toes that they have no option than to sit up and do what needs to be done. You know, prior to this time, they say there's a cover in the oil and gas sector. I believe that because I knew something about Cardinal Refinery some years back. That was even during the tenure of uh, Olusegun or Basanjo. That refinery should have been functioning and contributing. But something happened midway. And it is part of that thing I think the new management is addressing. We need to, we need to decongest. We need to uproot those demonic structures that have held the country bound, those that believe that their way, what they expect, must prevail over the total will and desire of the people. And I think the man in an NPC, Kerry, has shown that we power that he can step on toes. Let me tell you, you can't be a leader if you're not willing to step on toes. I am a Christian. Even in the Bible, God chose leaders who can fight wars and win wars. Those that can step on toes. So your ability to step on toes is the right thing we need to. Because there are people, I believe there are cabal, there are cabal in the oil sector. They need to be decluttered. They need to be removed. Okay, so it means stepping on toes. We need to liberalize that sector for Nigerians to benefit from what God has blessed them with. That is all I am saying. So Kiari yes. is doing a good job with his team. What I expect him now to do is to go further, I talk about plunging back, uh, pluffing back those profits. In fact, for the very first time I was driving the other day, I saw a billboard advertising an NPC uh, 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 engine oil. I have not seen it before. That's it is true. happening because it is not a limited liability company and a profit-oriented organization. So they are waking up, and that is what we need. We will continue to engage them. We will continue to engage them. But I tell people, when you are engaging, be very objective about it. Don't tune it. Don't garnish it with political undertone to make it look as if you don't even want the thing to work. You're just there to create noise. That is what I'm discouraging Nigerians from. International Business Edition Specialist, Mr. Light Chidrak, thank you so much. It's always interesting having you on the program. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, my brother. Thank you.